this is Rob from SolveTech, and I'm here to discuss using your offline gauge as a powerful continuous improvement tool. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your plastic film profiler in your quality lab to generate data that is enormously helpful for your continuous improvement efforts. So really what we're talking about is man managing extrusion quality and performance across multiple sites for a plastic film producer. And we use the, PR2, the SolveTech PR2000 to improve quality and not just measure quality. A big data revolution is happening throughout industry and successful companies are now using big data to advance their quality and operations more than ever before. Much of this data is already being collected or is already available with the proper equipment and software as part of the QA process. Investment per site is relatively low and using the right tools and automation, you can just aggregate this data very easily. With multiple plant sites, let's say like a large plastic film company may have with hundreds of production lines, and in, analyzing all this data becomes impossible without using the right tools. And people are using better data to make better decisions to achieve higher profits, which is pretty much everybody's goal, right? So the game has changed for plastic film extrusion because we have new ASTM standard D8136, and this allows us to define plastic film variability in a standardized way. And this is a key process parameter for plastic film and a key quality parameter. The old contact method was too slow and imprecise to give useful data, so people didn't really look at variability data a lot when they didn't have a tool that could do it. The new equipment offers the required precision to generate good and useful data, which is important because if you start with bad data, you're not going to get any. Now customers and suppliers can quantify and compare film variability inside and outside of their operations. So now film buyers are going to have the ability to better define variability. So here's the, the basic flowchart. You've done your extrusion, you've made a roll, you take a strip from that roll, it's profiled in the PR2000. You're sending the roll to your customer, the PR2000 generates a quality report to your customer, you know you're sending your customer quality. Um, but at the same time, a text file or a CSV file is generated and goes to your central database. This creates a historical record of everything that you've made and shipped, and the performance can now be in analyzed for continuous improvement purposes. And this goes back to the extrusion. So you can see if line one is performing better than line two and why, and you can make a better extrusion, which then means a better role going to the customer and more customers. So that's the main goal of this, this whole circle of life here. The question is, should we use our online data? Because a lot of people have online data and it can be useful. But there's a couple issues. So all the online data, online data collection systems and blown film or cast film extrusion can be different. And they can be different from line to line in, in the same plant. And that's quite common. So you got different technologies, different probe dimensions, and different levels of smoothing in their software, which is how they interpret the data. These online measurement systems are typically used for automatic feedback control, not quality monitoring in the true sense. So there's also no standard for online. So there's no way to correlate it back unless you correlate everything you're doing back to the offline standard. And it can also be kind of costly and complex to set up all the live data streams across all the different production lines. So doing it offline through your quality lab, it's a great place to start. It can be done online, but starting offline is probably the easiest and least expensive option. So the harder the data collection is the PR2000. We get excellent data collection uh, with a good repeatability and reproducibility number of around 3%. Anything less than 10% is considered good, so we're at three, we're, we're doing great. You can see basically you cut a strip off the roll, you profile it, and you get your data, you get your summary statistics. It's fast and easy to use, and it, use, and it fully complies with ASTM D8136. After the operator runs this roll and sees the data, it automatically prompts him to save the data and generates a text file. Okay, now it's time to see a live demonstration. So I've cut my 
film strip off my roll or my bubble here. And I load it in like so. Got a foot pedal here, makes everything nice and easy. I'm just going to profile some of this strip. Okay, so now I'm prompted by the screen here and I can fill in the information. This line is five. And this is the picture. And the It's my great customer. Okay. And you can see it's auto naming the file and time and date stamping it. I save it. And now we can see that file was created here in the profiler files. And I have also the data files created in the second location, exported as a CSV. We can open that up. And we can see all the information has displayed here um, about the, and all the data from the run. You can see that quickly I took uh, about 250 data points. All right. The great thing is you can take these data outputs and then put them in a mini tab or another data management program. So now we're talking about the continuous improvement opportunities we have from this data. So the data will identify and compare the performance of each line. So we can see how well we're targeting average thickness or standard deviation of variability of each line, the optimal time between cleanings, uh, what supplier of equipment is making the best equipment, what technologies and practices are making a difference. And this also allows us to centralize alerts to quality issues uh, with our data management software. We can also do statistical process control. So vision of the outcome is our continuous improvement efforts will result in quality improvements, high productivity, and lower costs. And the economic impact should be many times larger than Customers are receiving material within variability spec, resulting in potential process improvements, cost savings, and generating customer loyalty. And so, how do you get started with all this with SaltPak? So, we can pick headquarters or a trial site to put a PR2000 in to your quality lab. You can rent one, uh, typically domestically in the US. And then at SaltPak, we'll implement all the text file outputs like I just showed you uh, on the other screen. And you can exist you can integrate this into your existing data management programs. You run the trial for maybe 35 months for about $2,500 a month, $2, a month, and the QA team will run samples as part of their QA, QA checks. New ASTM standard and text file outputs from the profiler can generate high value to a large plastic film organization. And these process snapshots can be collected quickly and easily using normal quality control procedures. This big data approach has a low cost to implement and will help executives make better decisions because they have better data. And SolveTech will help walk you through every step of this process, making it quick and easy to implement. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to reach out to me or Lawrence at Gaging.com or give me a call at 302-798-5400. We're located here in Wilmington, Delaware. You're also welcome to stop by for a visit at our demonstration facility. Thank you very much.